Okay, see if we can get this thing to focus. There we go. Hi guys. Okay, as you can see, I have a huge mess on the table. And I was just doing some little squares, dipping them in. And, I mean, that was really pretty two minutes ago. Anyway, I think we're just going to do, uh, like I said in the last video, um, I just want to do maybe some beachy stripes instead of the actual flip cups we're just gonna do poor you know stripes because I love stripes and who doesn't love stripes so let's I think we're gonna do it in three three successions maybe so we'll go ahead and we'll just get the, the three pours ready in three different cups here and that way, actually, I could probably use that cup. Let's go ahead and use that cup over again, since there's nothing. It's just got a little bit left in it, and we can use this one, too. I think it's okay. It's just got a little bit of the blue and, and turquoise and stuff left in it, so. And what about our beach? You know what? We can use the beach one, too. Here, let's get rid of some of that junky. There we go. Yay, we're recycling. Okay, I'm going to give a quick stir to my paints really quick again. Make sure that they, you know, the silicone hasn't risen to the top because it will do that. If you, if you look at it, you can kind of see a little shiny gloss at the top if you let your paint sit too long. So just be on the safe side. Give it a quick stir. If you're going to do like two or three pours, you know, even five minutes later, I don't have much of this dark blue left, so I don't know how well that's going to go, but. You know, even if it's like five or ten minutes later, and you're just like going quick, still stir your paints. And they can also get thicker as they sit there. And if they get thicker, you know, you want to water them down a little bit. I love this gold. I want a lot of the gold in there. We'll try that. Maybe we'll even start with the gold. Maybe? <laughs> I don't know. All right, let's start with the dark blue first. We'll do the dark blue. There's really not much dark blue left. And we'll just pour them all in there, one by one, see what we get. Uh, no, that's going to go in the, let's put some of the, oh, let's put some white in there. Right? White can't hurt. White is a beautiful white, a beautiful color. Uh, I want to leave a little bit of that dark blue for the middle. With some more uh, metallic cobalt. Oh, let's just go ahead and pour the rest of that dark blue in. It'll be okay. We want it to look different than the middle section of painting, right? Right. There we go. Alright, I think that's enough for that one. So we'll start with. Let's start with the metallic one on that one, right? Who doesn't love metallics? There's probably half a dozen of you out there screaming at me. Well, I don't like them. I don't, I don't like them, at, at least with this brand, as much as I like the regular paints because they don't sell up, unfortunately. And I don't like that they don't sell up. That makes me unhappy. I'll put some more of that metallic. Maybe we can. See, that just all blends together. Let's throw some white in there. Lots of white. Need a little bit of white on top there. We can even do like a couple of white stripes through there. I don't know. Let's start with the gold on this one. That gold is really pretty. I really don't want it to mix too much. Because the gold, the metallics tend to just sort of wash over everything. They kind of blend in. Don't stand out. They're not. I mean, I could try going thicker with it, maybe, but then I think it it might end up kind of lumpy on the canvas. All right, I think that's that's good. So I'll set these off to the side. Well, at least that one has some cells in it. The other ones are not. Uh, should we do diagonal or just straight across? I don't know. I don't really like the diagonal. This is really not the best canvas for 
doing stripes, the squares don't really... I have enough for three flip cups here. I hate to pour it all onto one canvas. But I don't have a bigger one, so we'll just do some stripes here. Start from the top here and just slowly pour it. And I left space on purpose there. So we can kind of, oh look at all the cells popping up. I'll pour it on that other painting. Whoops. Look at that. That didn't do much of anything. Oh, I'm not happy about that. Let's pour some more of that through there. Let's do a little bit more down here. I really like that dark blue in there. I missed an edge. Let's even get it to pour down the edge. There we go. Yeah. Missed the corner over there too. That's okay. All right, let's pour some of this on there. We got all that gold. Oh, the gold is so pretty. Won't make pretty cells, but it's still pretty. Now what should we do with it? Should we just tilt it sideways so it stays completely like this? I, I think so. Let's do that. Oh, well, them pretty cells just pouring right off. But I have to. All that gold just really is like over top of everything. What do you think? I kind of like that sort of. I'm doing all, no, that's not working. I'm just kind of stretching out the cells. Well, that's a little better. Give it a little bit of movement, right? There. I like it. Let's get our trusty palette knife here and get those corners. You think all that paint it would have covered these corners, but it did not. Oh, I don't want to drip on other painting. That's just like me. I drip all over the paintings. Every single time. I have more than one painting sitting here. Okay, now I gotta get those corners, but I cannot do that with this blue, so let me wash the blue off real quick. Hopefully I'm not gonna drip water or blue paint everywhere. There we go. Pretty little corners. Make sure I get some of that gold in the corner. Because it'll bring it all together. There we go. Uh oh, there's, how did I get turquoise there? Let's get that out of there. Ah! I must be stabbing it underneath. Let's not do that again. There we go. Cover over that turquoise. Do not pick that turquoise. Did I do it in the other corner? I hope not. Oop, I touched the other painting, but that's okay. Just barely. Ah, oh, okay. Well, let's fire it real quick. See that turquoisey blue doesn't do anything. I don't like all the cell action we got going on up here, though. That's pretty cool. It was all that, that white. That white really helped it. I want some more cells through there. Come on, baby cells, come up through there. There we go. See, we're getting a little bit. That light. Oh, look at that. I do not want that that sh color, that beachy color, to show through right there. Even if it is on the edge. Look at those big cells. I know they're kind of messy cells, but they're really super pretty. All right, I think that's about it. I don't want to overkill here. All right, that turned out kind of cool. So let me get you down so you can see this. Hold on one second. All right. That is it. 
for that one. Let me get you down kind of close so you can see. Oh, look at those pretty cells. They're a little messy, but they really turned out, you know, I mean, it's supposed to be ocean. Ocean is obviously not real calm. So look at that gold is going to, I don't know if you can see that. Can you see? Oh, look, you can kind of see. I'm sorry for the reflection, but you can kind of see how the gold is shimmering. Oh, that looks pretty. Yeah, look at that dark blue line right through there, right at the edge. I was kind of hoping for white, but I kind of like the dark blue line because it's a little different. But look at that gold all through there. I mean, that would make kind of like a cool print right there with the two different colors meeting. I don't know if I'm going too fast here. My phone keeps not focusing. Okay, so... That one turned out pretty cool. I'm happy with it. Of course, you're seeing it sideways. But I will show it. Once it's dry, I'll show it again. And there's the big one from the last. It's still drying, obviously. Um, and it's not a really good shot of it. But that's okay. I mean, I'll show them when they're all. And I did two little squares over there. You can kind of see those. Oh, there's my dog. There's Abby. Abby! Abby, there she is. There's my Abby. Hey, pretty girl. Love of my life. At least one of them. Okay, and look at the mess. Look at all the pretty mess. And I still have some paint left, so we're going to have to, I don't know, do something with it. But here we go. One last close-up shot. And I want to thank everyone for watching. Thank you so much, everyone. You're awesome. Thank, thank you to all my subscribers, of course. And y'all go out and make some pretty awesome art. And see you later. Bye.